anything. I'm watching the sport I watch. So Carl Frampton versus Luke Jackson, post fight review. So Carl Frampton, he dominates Luke Jackson from start to finish and he quite literally lived up to his name, the Jackal. He turned predator in this fight and he promised to knock out Luke Jackson. He said that he's dropped so much body fat and gained muscle yet managed to maintain the weight. Um, he did only just make the way in, let's be honest, but still, he went in there and he put on a masterclass at Windsor Park. Of course, this is a dream of Carl Frampton. He wants to perform in front of his Belfast locals from Northern Ireland and he put on a dominant, dominant display. So everybody who turned up to watch this fight would not be disappointed in Carl Frampton whatsoever. Very, very dominant. And he, of course, he drops um, Luke Jackson in round number eight and finishes him off in round number nine where... Even Luke Jackson, he's looking over at his corner to say, come on, throw the damn towel in. And the corner obliges him by throwing the towel in in round number nine. So Carl Frampton wins by technical knockout. So excellent, excellent display from Carl Frampton. Cannot knock that performance whatsoever. Next up for him is the IBF featherweight title against Josh Warrington. No date and venue yet to be confirmed. Um, I would imagine it'll probably be over here in England. Um, yes, Northern Ireland, Belfast is um, UK as well. So for me, I think that it could well happen at Leeds. Could it be at Ellen Road again? Potentially, maybe, who knows, who knows. But as this fight's gonna be 2018, unlikely, open air, that time of the year, mm, probably not. But hey, you never know, you never know, right? So as far as that fight goes, Warrington versus Frampton, I would probably say Frank Warren, he wants Warrington to win this fight that that's my honest opinion of it and I for me I believe why I don't want to write off Warrington at all I know I kind of did a little bit against Selby I thought Selby had a bit too much experience and was going to weather him and dominate him in the second half of the fight that didn't happen at all it was a very very good fight and Warrington deservedly won the belt but is that going to be the same as Carl Frampton? Now, a lot of us, we wanted Lee Selby versus Frampton for quite some time now. Um, that fight's not going to happen. So now we're going to get Warrington versus Carl Frampton. And for me, I think this is going to be a very, very good fight. Warrington showed me something in his last fight against Selby that I didn't think he had in him. And I'm pleasantly surprised by that. I really, really am. But I think Carl Frampton, he's been there, he's done it, and he's been in with the elite you know, Leo Santa Cruz, to name just one. Scott Quigg, another. So against Warrington, Frampton will not be concerned whatsoever. And I do expect Carl Frampton to win this one, but hey, you know what? I'm going to be sitting on the fence. I'm not too fussed. I like the fight. Is it a pay-per-view? That will depend on the undercard. Frank Warren is very, being highly critical of Eddie Hearn, Sky Sports for their pay-per-view box office. But here is Frank Warren. He's done... He just announced three of those. One of them is overseas. Canelo versus Triple G, September the 15th. The other one is going to be again overseas. And that'll be Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. So that's two fights right there. That's going to be early hours in the morning for those who want to watch those fights on BT Sport. Uh, box office, pay-per-view. How much is it going to cost? No idea. Sky Sports, they do their 19.95. I would imagine BT may go around that mark or probably try and undercut them by making it cheaper. Don't know to be honest we'll have to wait and find out on that one but and now he's added a third pay-per-view box office for josh warrington versus carl frampton so looking forward to it no doubt is it pay-per-view i'm not too sure to be honest i need to see the undercard but anyway going back to carl frampton very very good performance dominant i'm happy for him i'm proud of him of what he's done he is an elite fighter no doubt about it. Jamie Moore is doing a great, great job of him. Um, I wasn't too sure if it was the right decision when he left Shane McGuigan to go to Jamie Moore. Of course, he's a young, inexperienced coach. But you know what? Jamie Moore is proving to be a very, very good coach. Not just with him, but with Martin Murray and, of course, others. Um, Rocky Fielden, of course. So for me, Carl Frampton done well tonight. He really did, and I believe it was the WBO International title or something like that, I think it was. But that's not going to matter anymore. Obviously, that will be vacated now. He's going to be taken on Warrington. So anyway, congratulations to Carl Frampton for a very, very good display. And he looked real, 
real good and Warrington's going to have to be on his A game like he was against Selby to get the win over Carl Frampton. But if anybody can do it, Josh Warrington can. So let's wait and find out. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.